Hey, this is Jeremy. Welcome to this week's edition of Tidbits. How are you doing today, Anderson? Hey, I'm good. So for this week, would you mind showing us the staff user profiles in Brokerware TMS? So our staff users, you know, you, there's a lot of customization. So if you go to the staff list, you can see all your staff users and you can always go in and edit a staff user. Hmm. Uh, let's just go, let's just look at a blank window. So let's, if I were, if I were to create a staff user, a new staff user, mm -hmm. you can see that there's a bunch of different access categories under access levels. So this allows, you know, pretty much full customization of the permissions of each individual staff user. You know, you don't have to, not, not every staff user needs to be cookie cutter by just selecting whether, oh, this person only gets accounting permissions. Mm. or this person only gets manager permissions, you know, so you can select multiple access levels and then also remove certain functionalities between each access level. Mm. So, you know, this allows for a lot of, you know, probably cross training that you may be doing between someone, you know, that you may be looking to promote get them, you know, going from someone who is an operational level to manager or accounting, stuff like that, or just, you know, someone that works between multiple departments, right? Someone that wears multiple hats. This really allows you to customize that for every individual so that they can, you know, one person can do more, one person is restricted a little bit more. So it allows for a fully, you know, customizable experience there as far as access levels go. And then additionally, you know, you can set up in-system notifications, you know, for each user separately. So, you know, from the, these notifications here, you can set these up for individual staff users to receive certain notifications, you mm. know, based on their, maybe based on their job, based on their role. And then once those are selected, they'll receive these notifications here. And then additionally, we have these modes that you can select for a user to be able to view from their dashboard page. Now, mm -hmm. this won't restrict them from viewing these modes or creating shipments in these modes, but this will just restrict their view from the dashboard page. So this can isolate what 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 they see in their view. Mm. It's like a filter. Exactly. On the bottom part, really quick too, like how do those things expand? You just click on whatever accounting and then it, it opens up. Oh, I see. There's so a you, just, you just click on the, the the main category and then it'll open up all the sub, mm. sub permissions for it. Got it. Awesome. Yeah. So this is uh, our staff user profile that, you know, just really allows full customization for every individual staff user. Yeah, well, thanks for taking the time to show us that. I understand it looks like a very useful tool when you're getting set up on Broker, where I'm sure that people are spending time initially getting everyone set up there. Well, thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of Tidbits. We will catch you next week. See ya. Have a good one. Bye.